In this how-to video for Backup Exec 2012, I'm going to show you how to create a one-time backup as opposed to the scheduled backups. So first thing we want to do is make sure that we open up Backup Exec 2012, click on the Backup and Restore tab, and then double-click on the server that we'd like to do this with. From here we can click a one-time backup and we'll choose to disk because we don't have any tapes in this one, otherwise we'd see tapes as well. On the left-hand side we see our server and we can click edit and check any boxes or uncheck any boxes we'd like and we can also go to test and edit credentials from here we can choose our default system login account or if we have a separate login account we can choose that as well and we can either test all of those or just test selected ones to see if they pass the security before we run our backup job on the right hand side we see that it defaults to any disk storage to run now and to keep for two weeks. So if we click edit, we can change that to run on a future date. And we can go to storage and we can choose a specific storage if we'd like. We can change that keep for date to whatever it is that we'd like. We can add compression, we can add encryption, and we can add an encryption key if we have already created those, which is shown in a different video and we can set a priority for the processor. From here we can choose the network interface that we'd like to use, the protocol as well. We can be notified by checking the recipient. The recipient, uh, you can manage recipients here, you can add as well. You can verify the job or not. You can choose advanced open file for any open files that may be running at the time. Advanced disk based storage as well. You can use off host backup if you want to choose that. We've got some pre and post command options. And this is how the uh, files and folders are backed up. You can back up files and directories by following symbolic links, backup data to remote storage, enable single instance, all different kinds of options here. You can also back up open files with a lock, which is the default for the advanced open. If you've got a virtual machine, you can also check the box uh, for the virtual machines as well, so that way you get a good backup of the virtual machine. And then you also have the option for SQL as well as uh, changes that you can make for full differential, various different things like that. And when you're ready to run it, just go ahead and click OK.